one, Coop! This game is boring. Plus, Coop never throws me the ball. Like you could even handle the heat I'm throwing, Millie. Come on, Coop. Throw the ball to your sister. Fine. Here's something you could handle. <laughs> nice throw. Wow! What an arm! Get the ball, will you, son? But she, she. No, no, it's a goose ball. I can't even get the one dumb sister. God, just get it. Oh, this is just what I'm missing. My shoe! Thanks a lot, Millie. <coughs> there you are. <laughs> Evil, careless creature, squirrel, Coop? beast, purple, which is the Calm creature down. the socks, What's the matter? And what happened to your shoe? Where's the ball? <laughs> Evil, naked, sewer rat with fangs. Horrible, hairless eyes. <laughs> Millie! It got her! It? That's Daddy! Look, look at what I found! <laughs> Isn't he just the cutest kitty in the whole world? Wait, that's a cat? Oh, can I keep him, Daddy? Oh, please, can I, can I, can I, huh? Oh, please! Hmm. He's got a collar, honey. He must belong to someone. Yeah, someone with really bad eyesight. <laughs> Sorry, Millie, but we can't keep him. Her, or it. We've got to find the owner. <laughs> all right, all right! If we can't find his owner, we'll keep him! Thanks, Daddy. And here's your ball. <laughs> That's my Knockleyville Cheddar Teaser side consolation round baseball! I didn't even think about it, son. Well, what about my ball? I gotta get it back! You know darn well that whatever or whoever enters old Lady Munson's yard is never seen again. And I really don't feel like dealing with her today. Ugh. What's do, kitty? There! Don't you look precious? But you must be so hungry. That's better. Ugh, I've made enough posters to cover the whole neighborhood. I've decided that I'm going to call him Mr. Cat. Great name. Well, don't get too comfortable, Mr. Cat. I'm going to find your owner. Maybe Mr. Cat and I could help. Uh, Sure. Goody! Come on, Mr. Cat! There! It worked! Finally, we're gonna get rid of that bald squirrel. Did you find my kitty? <laughs> we sure did! Too bad. So sad. You found a cat? My dog is hungry. Try to swallow him whole. Sorry, son. I guess this means we'll be keeping Mr. Cat. Goody! Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, Daddy. I'll take real good care of him. I'll feed him and wash him and see flea and paint him. <sighs> I think I need something for my ears. That cat is so out of here. <laughs> Let's see who you belong to, Mr. Cat. Whoa, this is one weird collar. Uh-oh. You've really 
really got it out for this cat, don't you, Coop? Why would you even think of blowing up his collar? And where'd you get the fireworks to do it? Ugh, I told you, Dad, it blew up by itself. Yeah, just finish cleaning up your mess and try to stay out of trouble. Uh, cat! Goodbye, Growler! What have we got here? <laughs> Quickly, boy. Oh, man. Now my lucky baseball is gone, too. <laughs> ah, so that's where she keeps all the stuff. Mr. Cat, the wild garden gnome is ferocious when startled. But Big Brother's are a whole nother story. Holy moly! Thief! Thief! Move it! Oh, hello, Millie. Who do we have here? Hello, Mrs. Munson. Would you like to meet Mr. Cat? Oh, well, well. <laughs> Mr. Cat is very nice indeed. Too bad I can't say the same about your nasty brother. Alone, they're bad enough. Together, a guy doesn't stand a chance. <laughs> Can't draw. He's a cat. <laughs> That's no cat. It's some kind of alien. Coop! First you blow a crater in the backyard, then you sneak into Old Lady Munson's yard, and now this. <sighs> I never thought I'd say this, Coop. But go to your room. <sighs> Think, Growler. Perhaps Aloysius would enjoy some sun today. No, that won't do. He and Sir Scratch are up aren't speaking. Maybe he should visit with Tom Tuttle. <gasps> Tom Tuttle's is gone. <laughs> back and back and... Is your brother up yet? Sourpuss is still asleep. Well, I hope he's had time to think about... Oh, Lady Munson! I'll get it. Billy! No! There you are, Mr. Cat. What have you been up to? Your juvenile delinquent son stole all of my confiscated toys and kidnapped Tom Tuttles! Coop wouldn't do a thing like that. I followed his footprints! No. Oh. But those are all left feet. We'll sniff him out, won't we, Growler? Tom Tuttles! Where are you, Tom Tuttles? Tom Tuttles? <laughs> what the? Coop! You can't hide from... Coop, are you... What are... Why? I didn't do this, I swear! Where are the toys you stole from my shed? What? I didn't steal anything from your shed. <laughs> um... <laughs> Tom Tuttles! A toy thief! And a gnome napper! I'll deal with you later. I, I, I'm sure it's just a maze he's going through. <laughs> Daddy's gonna give you up for adoption. You! I don't know how you set me up, but... 
My shoe! So that's the way you want to play it, huh? Well, I'm ready for anything, cat! You'll be sorry you missed me with that rock! Um, isn't anyone gonna get me down from here? Anyone? Anyone see my book report? It's due today and I can't find it! Too late for you, babies. <laughs> Unless you're scared. Watch it tonight, Channel 9, midnight. We're not scared of anything. Yeah, except spiders. Um, the dark, old lady Munson, candy apples, werewolves, double decker buses, uh, sometimes aardvarks. <laughs> the movie tonight, Lauren and Harley will know we chickened out. <laughs> Tune in tonight, viewers, for the Ghoulish Gala, Channel 9. <laughs> Yeesh, it's just a commercial. She's right. We can do this, Dennis. You can vote for tonight's creature feature. Will it be zombie cat flesh eaters? <laughs> Attack of the Mega Leeches! No. Or Vampire Roller Derby! None of the above! I think I hear my mother calling. Paco! See you, Dennis! Call 555-0100! Right now! I can do this! I can do this! Each call costs 75 cents, and you can vote as many times as you like! Be sure to call in right away, viewers! There's only five more hours to vote! Five hours from now? Isn't that... Um, the middle of the night? Dad'll let me stay up. Uh-uh! It's a school night. Dad won't let you stay up to watch some dumb movie. Oh, yeah? We'll see what he says when I use my powers of persuasion. No. But, it's past your bedtime. But You have school in the morning, but, and scary movies give you nightmares. Did I forget anything? No. Told you so. All the votes have been counted. It's a landslide win with over 96,000 calls for tonight's ghoulish gala. Zombie cat flesh eaters. <laughs> Quiet. Well, I suppose you can clean out Mr. Cat's litter box for a month and your Fun Station 2000. No Fun Station! My Captain Blasteroid action figure? Three weeks of litter box duty. Two weeks! Two weeks, three days, and 12 hours, or I scream for dead. 
Deal! Okay, enjoy your bad dreams. Come on, Mr. Cat. It's time for bed. a wonder he can get any sleep after you made him watch that creepy show. He's been here all night? Of course he has. Watched that horror movie, didn't you? <laughs> I called what number? Ninety-six thousand eight hundred and forty times. It's how much per call? I'll get it. Hey, Dennis, would you? 
Look, it's Zombie Cat Boy himself. What's going on? Great performance last night, Coop. Better than the movie, even. Huh? Check it out. <laughs> zombie Cat! Zombie Cat! Zombie Cat! Ah, ah. Zombie Cat! Ah. That cat is going down. <laughs> Coop, what did you do to Mr. Cat last night? He's all dusty. <laughs> You're right, Millie. Cat is dusty. Why don't you give him a bath? <gasps> Good idea, Coop. <laughs> this will fix you right up, Mr. Cat. <laughs> Look who's the scaredy cat now. Oh, Millie! I got something special for Mr. Cat. Fishy <laughs> Frisky Bit! Like that cat. His favorite. Thanks, Daddy. Isn't he the cutest, Daddy? Uh. Dad, did you remember my Taco Blast bar? Well, I was low on cash after buying cat's treats, but there was a sale on soy pecan spinach bars. Here. Uh, thanks, Dad. <laughs> Baby. Guess what? There's a neighborhood pet pageant this weekend, and my mom's letting me show Hobby Fluff off by myself. You should come and watch us win, Coop. You can come too, Millie. Maybe you and Mr. Kitty could learn a thing or two. It's Mr. Cat. Of course it is. Once Honey Fluff wins, she'll get to travel around and do all the pet shows. Really? The winner goes on tour? Of course. <gasps> oh, we've got to go. The pageant's in only 107 hours. Hmm. Who cares about a dumb old pet pageant? I don't know. I bet Mr. Cat could beat Honey Fluff easy. Ooh, you're right. Mr. Cat is the bestest cat in the whole world. I can't wait to see the look on Phoebe's face when we crush her dreams. That's the spirit. Sort of. Yeah, and I can't wait to wave goodbye when you're out on tour. Far, far away. <laughs> Come on, Mr. Cat! <laughs> oh, maybe Mr. Cat doesn't want to be in a pet pageant. Sure he does. Look, he's so excited he can hardly sit still. <laughs> oh, see? Now Mr. Cat is mad at me. I shouldn't force him to do it. Of course, Mr. Cat might be more enthusiastic if he knew one of the grand prizes is a year's supply of fishy frisky bits. Yay! He's gonna do it! Tell you what, I'll even volunteer to be Mr. Cat's trainer. <laughs> K plus A plus T. Go, Mr. All right, Cat. Let's see how well you handle an obstacle course. And go! <laughs> Guess I'll have to eat this fishy frisky bit myself. <laughs> <laughs> up from when he was just an egg. He had a brother, but we needed him for an omelet. Well, there is no way he'll beat Mr. Cat. Dennis? Hey, Coop, 
The judge made me stage manager. If I follow all of his orders for the rest of the day, I get to keep the clipboard. Dennis! Good afternoon. I am Monsieur Flaberty, the head judge for this pitiful... I mean, this most illustrious pet pageant. Today's winners get all the usual perks, travel the globe, a year supply of fishy frisky bits, some state-of-the-art pet toys, dog juice, poopy bags, blah, 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 blah. You want it? You gotta win it. Moving on. I'm going to give two very lucky people the honor of being my fellow judges. You. Oh. And you. Got me? Okay. Dad got picked the judge. We are so gonna win. Are you kidding? Dad will probably mark us harder so it doesn't look like he's playing favorites. Ah! Phoebe? Are you part ninja? Ooh. I'm so happy you started cat training. Now we'll see each other at all the pet shows. Endless afternoons practicing, late night choreography sessions, or just sharing a love seat while we comb our cat's fur. And, um... In? What do you mean, all the shows? Oh, didn't you know the trainer always travels with the team? Gotta go! No! I've made a horrible mistake! <laughs> Dennis, I got a big problem! What is it? Temperamental talent? Wardrobe malfunction? Chronic stage fright? No! If Cat wins, I'll be trapped on tour with him for months! Gotta make sure Cat loses. We are kicking off our pet pageant in style with the fashion competition. First up, only Puff. What grace! Such energy! Yes, yes, yes! The judges are looking for quiet elegance, so don't move. Next up is Mr. Cat. Well, that is absolutely uninspired. <laughs> oh, now sails the fire! <laughs> this one bound with the passion for winning! Full marks! Tisk, tisk! A six for your own daughter! Oh, I should have never taught him those poses. And finally, Lone and Holly's chicken. Catch your toy. <laughs> no points for catch your toy. On to the talent competition. <sighs> Where is that no good hairless bug I ah! Baby! Give a guy some warning! Honey Fluff, you're up! Oh, Honey Fluff needs more glimmer puss. It's a special coat shine enhancer. I would never tell anyone my show secrets except you, Coop. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Honey Fluff. Jump! Did you see how shiny her coat was? <laughs> yeah, I replaced her fur spray with liquid cement. Why won't you move? Well, two can play the sabotage game. <laughs> I am moved to the core of my being. What? Isn't he the best dancer in the world, Coop? Oh. Wow! Maybe Catchatori can make a comeback. The obedience challenge. The command is to stay. Mm. 
Cacciatore is out. Maybe if you didn't leave chicken feed lying around, he would have stayed still. You give a chicken a chance, man. <laughs> Come on, look at the yummy fishy frisky bit. You know you want it. <laughs> Madhouse. Hey! I've got you, Mr. Cat. I saved you a box. All you have to do is be a good little. Oh, that's right, Mr. Cat. Start practicing now so we can win next year. Eh, a little dry, but still way better than the soy pecan spinach bar. <laughs> On us. Okay, throw another one. I'm feeling it this time. Ready? <laughs> All right, a home run! Hailstorms? <laughs> 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 Eggs, spinach, soy milk, wheat germ. It's everything an athlete needs to break a 40-year losing streak. Today's the day Bootsville finally beats the Timberlake Otters. Now drink up before it gets warm. Thanks, Dad. La, 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 la. Millie, you come where you're going. I'm doing everything backwards. Everyone knows it's the only way to reverse a losing streak. The Bulldogs need all the help we can get. You don't want to get up to bat and <coughs> choke like your old man did. <laughs> Why did I butt? <laughs> More coop? Uh-uh. Hey, guys. Morning, Dennis. Have a health shake. No time, Dad. Uh, we gotta work in our gloves before the big game. Uh, that's okay. Just trying to do my part to make up for letting the whole town down all because of a, a punt. <laughs> Way to do things backwards, Daddy. Perfect weather to break a losing streak. Uh, I gotta admit it, Dennis. All this pressure's starting to get to me. Tell me about it. My dad's going Bulldogs bonkers. Go Bulldogs! Why don't we just head out to the park early? Let's do it. There's a lighthouse when you need one. Uh, ah! What's wrong with you, Burton Burger? You look foggier than usual. We're just off to the game. You better not choke under the pressure like your old man did. Why did he burn? I'll be watching closer than you think. Thanks for the pep talk. Timberlake's going down. You know it. Woo, woo, woo. And you're going to lead us to victory. The team voted you captain. They did? <laughs> yeah. That way if we lose, you take the blame. <laughs> We'd all be scarred for life by such a public humiliation, but you're used to it. <laughs> Gee, thanks. Hi, Cleo! Yeah! Yeah! Oh. I'm going to 
to be your very own personal cheerleader today, so you don't have to worry about the thousands of Bootsville fans whose hopes, dreams, and aspirations are riding on you not joking. See you at the game! Thousands of fans? I think I'm choking already. Ah! Wow. Yeah. It's enough to drive a 10-year-old to sugarless gum. I thought you guys were at the park already. You're going to be late. Time to kick some otter butt. All right, Dennis. Let's show them what us bulldogs are made of. <laughs> Let's go make a hole. Isn't this exciting, Daddy? Oh, boy, you said it. That's not exactly going to be rooting for us. Coop, you focus on the game, and I'll keep an eye on Cat. But you're the catcher. All right. Never mind. Okay, Burtonberger! Old Lady Munson! I may be a diehard Bulldog fan, but I'm sure going to call it fair game! Play ball! Warming. <laughs> it's time for my trademark Cooper Duper fastball. <laughs> oh man, more like a stall ball. <laughs> huh? What the? Oh! Hailstones. Okay, stay focused. Oh. <laughs> Ball one! Huh? What did I just throw? Nice one, Lord! Oh! Yeah! Out! Oh, man! Safe! Hmm. <laughs> Can't stop me. Never to move to Bootsville. The weather here stinks. All right, Cat. Let's see what you've got. Oh. Strike one! Strike two! <laughs> Come on, Bert Burger, put a little zing in your swing! Looks like 
that the sun's finally shining on the Bulldogs. And if I can do it, so can the rest of the team. Let's knock in some runs! <laughs> Sir, what can I interest you in swapping today? I'll give you anything you want in the store for it. <laughs> <laughs> spend the afternoon repairing this keen old rotary phone. Yawn. But then I made a trade for this, the Mechazor Warrior Model Kit. Cool. You know, I had one of these when I was your age. This baby's fully loaded. The Thunder Power Launcher, Cyber Shield, and the super cool Zord of Zothra. Boy, these instructions sure are complicated. The instructions are for wimps. <laughs> Super duper wacky schwack glue. We'll stick anything to anything in seconds. Uh, oh, good. I need a big splorch of it to glue these bad boys together. Daddy! Yes, Millie? You promised to look at my ski hill Sophie surprise, so come look. But I. Uh... Yeah! Sorry, sweetie pie. Uh, I'll just stay here and get a head start on the model. Oh, nothing doing, mister. We're building this one together. Now drop the glue and let's go, sport! <laughs> uh, ladies, gentlemen, and stinky brothers. Huh. Introducing Ski Hill Sophie! Yeah! Whoa! Hooray! Hooray! Amazing! Unbelievable! Gotta go! Hey, that was just Soapy's practice jump. You're staying right here, buddy. Huh. Okay, Millie, okay. <laughs> There's only so much ski jump excitement a daddy can stand in one day. Hey, what are you doing? Where do you think you're going? <laughs> Okay, that's enough. Coop, I'm tired of you fighting with Millie's cat. Ah, you broke my new old phone. But he was messing with our model. He wasn't doing anything. One more fight and you'll be sent to your room. Understood? Why, you? Come back here, you lousy purple. Leave him alone. Fine, now you're confined to your room. 
for the rest of the day! Bug-eyed, hairless creepazoid! I thought you might be hungry, son! Huh. Coop, you have to understand that as your parent, I have to follow through when I discipline you. I know. So you will have to spend the rest of the day in your room, like I said. I know. But that doesn't mean we can't work on the model in here. Awesome! <sighs> maybe this. Oh, no. Uh, oh, maybe these two. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, hand me the glue, Coop. Dad! Uh, well, a promise is a promise. Come on, Coop. Sorry, Dad. I'm supposed to stay in my room for the rest of the day. Remember following through? Yeah, Coop stays in his room. All right, but save the Zord for me. Coming, honey! Cyber Shield. Cool. What are you looking at? <laughs> How about a little thunder fist, cat? On the count of three, Millie. One, two, three! Well, it looks like you two are stuck together, so you better find a way to get along. Until I can unstick you. I'm gonna knock this one into tomorrow. <laughs> this book, Remedial Remedies for Ridiculous Mishaps. The book says that if you want to dissolve glue, use perfume. Ah! Nope. Don't worry, Mr. Cat. This ought to work. The book says it scares away skunks, too. Ah! Nope. It says a little elderly toe jam might loosen the gears. Ah! Uh, hey, where are you going? <laughs> I guess maybe I could let you work on the robot while we check more books. It says here that a couple of drops of radioactive meltonium might work, but they may grow an extra head and glow in the dark. Hmm. Now where is that screwdriver? What, is it booby-trapped or something? Hmm. Well, thanks then, I guess. Megazor Warrior, mission, defenders from alien invasion. Yes! <laughs> Attention, hostile aliens, you have been targeted for elimination. That wasn't mentioned on the box. Prepare to be eliminated. <laughs> you did this! You reprogram the Mechazor Warrior to eliminate me! Attention, hostile aliens. Prepare to be eliminated. You have been targeted for elimination. Nice going, Fall Brain. Whatever comes after me, comes after you too! That thing is so cool! Thunderfest! There is no 
Hey, Coop! We found an ancient voodoo ritual to dissolve glue! Sounds great, Dad! Slam and a John. You cannot hide from me. Come out, come out, wherever you are. Gotta get out of here! No, wait, not that way! Way to go, Freak Beast, you really... Huh? Prepare to be eliminated. Uh-oh. It is time for final elimination. Sword of Southlaw! Elimination. This ought to work. The book says it scares away skunks. Danger, Metazor Warrior, Malfunction. Did I hear the Mechazor Warrior in here? <gasps> My beautiful Mechazor warrior! It's not my fault! Cat programmed the Mechazor to go crazy! Mr. Cat, you're free! Millie's goo must have dissolved the glue. And my hands. This is what I get for throwing away the instructions. Can you forgive me, partner? Maybe. If I don't have to clean this up alone. We started it together, we finish it together. Great! Let's start with him. Three more days till Christmas, and the Captain Blasteroid Boosterific Rocket Ripper! Only if there's three more days of good behavior, Sport. No sweat, Dad. Besides, at the rate we're going, that's about how long it'll take to untangle all these lights. <laughs> you know, when I was your age, Dad and I would decorate the house together. <sighs> it's been a long time since your grandma and grandpa have visited. I was hoping these lights would get me into the Christmas spirit, but all I see are... <laughs> Ugh. Tangled wires. Not for long. Ah, that's my boy. Mr. Cat. I'm checking my Christmas list, Mr. Cat. I'll send it to Santa Claus. And on Christmas Eve, he'll bring me everything I asked for. If he knows what's good for him. Hmm. Phone! Hello? <laughs> Grandma and Grandpa! Merry Christmas! Grandma, I'm double-checking my Christmas list, and Daddy and Cooper are putting up lights, and then we're putting up a Christmas... I'll give them the highlights, sweetie. Hi, Mom! Burton, darling! Good news! We've got an extra special Christmas surprise for you and the kids! A surprise? For us? Millie, stop looking for your presents. We're hopping on a plane, and we're gonna be there tonight! You're shot, honey bun. Oh, really? We'll have an old-fashioned family Christmas just like we used to! <gasps> hey! I'm gonna deck your halls! <laughs> Can't wait to see you! Bye! Kids! Your grandparents are coming. Can we hold off on destroying the house for two days? <laughs> <sighs> Here's my Christmas list, Daddy! Fishy frisky bits and plutonium? Girls, I'll never understand them. How's it look, son? Uh, great, Dad! <laughs> well, one strand of lights is all you need when you have Christmas spirit. <laughs> ah, up your face! <laughs> all flash, no spirit. Burger. Is that sad old strand of lights all you're gonna put up? <sighs> Pathetic. 
Tilt him up, Filbert! Santa's taking off, not parking! Merry Christmas to you too, old lady, uh, Mrs. Munson. Time to power up, sport. Just let me check the breakers. Hey, Coop, are we on track for coordinated Christmas presents? Yup. I asked where the Captain Blasteroid Boosterific Rocket Ripper to go with the Blasteroids Asteroid Outpost that you asked for. Yes, perfect! Yup. Um, what's up? My grandparents are coming for Christmas. Dad wants everything to be perfect, but I know Cat's gonna mess everything up like he always does. Then do what Captain Blastroid would do. Negotiate a ceasefire! A ceasefire? Yeah! And I know just how to get it, by doing nothing. Even if Cat scratches me from head to toe and uses my room as a litter box, I will not retaliate. Right on! You can't control Cat, but you can control you! You've got to turn the other coop! Okay, Coop, plug that baby in. Parents will be here soon. We've got to get the tree up. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> mm, it's not very Christmassy. Oh, once it's decorated, it'll be beautiful. Oh. I'll get it. Hello, Mom. Oh, Burton, you won't believe it. Our flight got diverted, and now we're snowed in. Snowed in? Then you won't be here for Christmas? Are you kidding? We're just taking a little detour is all. That's our train. Gotta go, son. See you tomorrow, honey. Keep the munchkins a squeeze for us. Kaka! Oh, are Grandma and Grandpa still coming, Daddy? You bet they are, sweetie. They'll be here tomorrow in time for Christmas Eve! <laughs> Hooray! Christmas! That settles it. A real old-fashioned Burton Burger Christmas deserves a real old-fashioned tree. You call that a Christmas elf? You glued pine needles on a garden gnome! Why, I oughta! Uh... That's Santa, Mr. Cat. He brings everything you want for Christmas. Hmm. Hey. Ooh, I have my list here somewhere. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Ah. oh, oh, oh! Please, take my wallet, Purple Iguana! Huh? I'm not Santa. I don't bring toys. I make pies. I'm the pie guy. <laughs> the pie guy! Oh, that wasn't a fake beard. Come on, Mr. Cat. We're going to chop down our Christmas tree. How about that one, Dad? Nope, too short. That one? Too skinny. Oh, that one! Too lopsided. That one? Nah, wrong green. Dad, how do we know when we find the right tree? We'll know it when we see it. Aha! This must be where they hide the primo stuff. Uh, Dad? <laughs> I'm not sure this is still part of the tree farm. There! It's perfect! A real Christmas tree! Isn't it a little big? Uh, are you kidding? Your grandpa and I used to chop down trees twice that size. Okay. Timber! Timber! Yay! Time to go, Dad! You're so right! <laughs> Hang on, everybody! Well, that's better. We're flying! Just like Dennis Lee! Out of the way! 
<laughs> That's for the pies and the trees and uh, anything else. Come on, kids, into the car. See, Mr. Cat? Now we have a tree for Santa to put my presents under. I think it might be a bit too tall. Poop. This tree is perfect, just like our family Christmas is gonna be. I got it! Hello? Cool? Oh, sweetheart, our train was cut off by an avalanche. An avalanche? What? Are they all right? Are, are they still coming? Oh, well, of course. Abominable snowman couldn't keep us away. Mush! Toodles! <sighs> They're still coming. Maybe. Probably? Oh. Oh. <gasps> yep, not too tall at all. <laughs> There hasn't been a single cat-related mishap all day. To what do we owe this vacation from mayhem? You'd be surprised what a little Christmas spirit can accomplish. Ah, sport, I'll never stop being surprised at what you can accomplish. Millie, I didn't hide your presents in my room. I was just checking that there were presents for Grandma and Grandpa. Oh, presents for Grandma and Grandpa! Hello? Dad! What a coincidence, we were just talking about you. I, I can't hear you. It must be a... Bad connection! We ran into a little hiccup, but don't worry, we've made alternate travel arrangements. Gotta go. Bye, son. Shoo! Get off of there! What's up, Dad? Coop, your old man is about to do something he swore he'd never do. What? Get caught under the mistletoe with old Lady Munson? Yuck! <laughs> No! no! Go shopping at the mall two days before Christmas. Shopping! Yeah, we're going to the mall! Oops, sorry. I should have knocked first. No! No fight! It's Christmas! Peace on Earth, right? On any other planet or, or dimension or test tube or whatever. Really? That's a spirit. We're going to the mall, Mr. Cat. And you know who's there? Santa! <laughs> You must feel the wrath of Captain Blasteroid, imposter! No, you are the imposter. I'm the real Captain Blasteroid! Explain to us again why you asked us to film this lame fight sequence. Lame? This will be the best underground Blasteroid movie ever! Captain Blasteroid and the attack of the evil clones! Who wouldn't want to see that? Us? Hey! 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 <laughs> Millie, what are you doing? I'm taking Greeny Girl martial arts lessons. Well, you're ruining our movie. No, she isn't. That was the best part so far. Yeah, do some more, Millie. <laughs> Come on, Coop. You gonna let your little sister beat you up? <laughs> Little sister totally kicked his butt. And I've got it all on tape. <laughs> uh, I don't suppose there's any way we can keep quiet about this? <laughs> I'll take that as a no. Maybe Millie's been doing yoga. I hear that really strengthens your core. It's the best show in town. See how wimpy 10 year old kid get flipped by his baby sister. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> Is nowhere sacred? <laughs> Dad, I need to take martial arts lessons. Sure, Coop. The Bank of Burtonburger can handle that in a month or two. Just as soon as we take care of this bill for replacement gnomes. A month? That's not soon enough. Why don't you get Millie to show you some moves? She's taking martial arts lessons. Yeah, Coop. I'll show you. 
No way. I'm not taking lessons from my little sister. Well, another bill for drywall. <laughs> hey, Coop. Been beat up by your little sister lately? <laughs> what happened the other day was pure luck. <laughs> That'll never happen again. <laughs> well, maybe one more time. Get a close up of his face, Harl. Oh, he's totally gonna help. <laughs> when will it end? Just a fluke, huh? <laughs> it was good. If <laughs> only you would blame something weaker than your baby sister. Coop, look out! That sparrow looks like it wants your lunch money. <laughs> You're so lame. Lame tastic. Lame horrific. Lame tacular. <laughs> <laughs> Millie couldn't flip me by herself. Three times. She had to have had help from Cat. So an alien entity made it look like she had super strength. I knew there was a logical explanation. Hey, didn't you always tell me that your grandfather was a kung fu master? Yes, he was the most respected master in all of Hong Kong. Dennis, you gotta teach me martial arts so I can defend myself against Cat. Me? Grandpa told me a few of his training techniques, but Dennis, the whole school thinks I got flipped by my little sister. Three times. My reputation is at stake here. You have to help me. If I do this, you must submit to my teaching, mind, body, and soul. It's a deal, Dennis. From now on, it's Master Dennis. First, you must learn how to focus your chi, the energy within. Try to snatch this marble from my hand. Oh, now what, Master Dennis? I don't know. You weren't supposed to be able to do that until after your training. Oh, well, moving on. Now, Grandfather said every great martial artist has a fighting style inspired by one of nature's fierce creatures. Nut-gathering squirrel. Flopping seagull. Dog at Hydra. Show me flapping seagull. Um, coop. Nut gathering squirrel. Dog and hydrant. Is the camera broken? Doesn't matter. We got so much footage of Coop being lame that we could start our own TV channel. Yeah, the lame network. These will help you visualize your opponent. Now, focus your chi. <laughs> now break this board, and you will break your fear of the cat. Who did it? You broke the board. Next time Cat tries to take me out, he's in for a world of ouch. I am ready for you, my furless foe. <gasps> Captain Blastroid! <laughs> Cat Drool, I will avenge you. It's not finished yet, but we're confident it's gonna be our best work yet. It's Catboy! Now we can shoot our ending! <laughs> Asteroid, there is no greater insult. Dennis, I'm at the house of Swap, and I'm gonna take down Cat. But you're only supposed to use your skills for self-defense. Coop, Coop! <laughs> <laughs> Yo, flea bitten feline, I challenge you to hand to bar combat. Bear 
to feel the wrath of the staff. Businessman opens Kung Fu movie theater. Uh oh! How about some music, cat? Here comes Dennis! Act natural! Hang on, Coop! I'm coming! Locked! Dennis! Coop, my grandfather wasn't a kung fu master. He ran a movie theater. What? It wasn't training techniques he was telling me about. It was movie plots. Well, if I could break that board, I can take this cat. Oh, about that? I partially sawed through that board. I wanted to build up your confidence. <laughs> doing in the House of Swap when it's closed. Dad, you're not going to believe this. Oh, I believe it all right. What a mess. Kids, scaring off that vertically challenged intruder was a brave thing to do. But next time, leave it to the pros. You boys have to teach me some of those crazy moves. Coop took on a tiny ninja. He's got the mojo of a dojo hero. And I train the hero. A hero is one who focuses his chi and... <laughs> Millie! That's Master Millie to you. I've completed my greeny girl self-defense training. Oh, man, I had the lens cap on. <laughs> Mr. Cat, what is it? What's wrong? <laughs> You're hungry? Don't worry. I'll get you some fishy frisky bits. None there. Nope. Empty. Nothing. We're all out, Mr. Cat. But I know what to do. Down here, honey! We're all out of fishy frisky bits for Mr. Cat. Now he'll have to wait until later when I go to the store. He can eat something else in the meantime. Okay. I'll make you some mini surprise. <laughs> Wow, that is some serious static electricity. Huh? What? Hey, hey, whoa, hey, hey, oh, hey! I guess I'll fold these upstairs. <laughs> Ahem. Coop, don't you have a science project due tomorrow? Uh, no problem, Dad. I always do my best work under pressure. No one knows for sure. 
remember why the dinosaurs disappeared. Huh? Okay, I'm pretty sure that's not how it happened. Whoa! <laughs> I smell a cat. My science project is extinct. I don't suppose you know anything about it. Unless wood can fly, you're up to something. I got my eye on you. And there, a full model of the solar system. Uh, that ought to get me an A. What? No, you don't. Oh, man. Ugh. I gotta leave for school soon. Good thing we had mac and cheese for dinner last night. I love science. Well, should say I love failing science, thanks to Cat. <sighs> what is the point? There's a sale on fishy frisky bits. <laughs> now that's aggressive advertising. Cat, you win. You wrecked every single thing I made. Ooh. Now that's cool. Thanks, Cat. I don't know what this is, but it looks sciencey enough to get me at least a B. All right, class. Lay your science projects on me. Lauren, you start. Check out my anti-gravity device. It falls, then magically defies gravity and comes back up again. Hmm. You've got 20 seconds to come up with a real project. Hey, Lauren. I'll let you share my project if you run on my generator wheel. I'm not your lab rat. I'll give you some cheese. Okay. <clears throat> We've generated enough power for an eagle, a rabbit, and dinner. Yeah! 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 <laughs> okay, thanks, Dennis. Good job. Hey, aren't I supposed to get a treat for this? Yeah. Now, Coop, what does this impressive-looking contraption do? Uh, it, it does a, uh, a science-type thing. How incredibly enlightening. Maybe you should just give us a demonstration. Oh, uh, sure. <gasps> Coop, you built a machine that uses friction to create a static electricity field? Cool. I mean, <clears throat> yeah, that's exactly what I did. Fascinating. It's attracting some sort of chunky residue. Fishy frisky bits? Bigger. Your machine's unique wavelength is unlike anything I've ever seen. Thanks, Mr. Gerber. If this is what it's like to be a brain. I like it. Welcome to the club. Let's see 
what happens when Coop increases the power of his static electricity field. You want me to turn it up? Uh, okay. Dennis, my arm's gonna fall off! Uh, hey, why don't you plug my machine into your machine? Good idea! Hey, Lord! Do you want to go faster? Why should I? Oh! There's a giant dog chasing me! You know, a spider! an A for Coop. Now, why don't we move on to the next project? <laughs> Coop, we've seen enough! The level of static electricity is getting dangerously high! What? The Lord stop running! <laughs> Coop, you've got your A! Now turn it on! So are your chances of getting an A, Coop. Thanks a lot, Cat. This is all your fault. <laughs> <laughs> nice kitty. Ha <laughs> ha! Cat boy's scared of a little pussy cat. <laughs> the shape-shifting spider dog is after me again! <laughs> Thanks for the helping hand, Dennis. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, we're seeing Santa, but then we're out of here. Ha 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 ha! Check out who's visiting Santa! Do you still believe in Santa, little Koopy Koo? And you're in line because... Uh, we're just here for the candy canes. Yeah, cause, uh, you can't get them anywhere else. Sure. Hi, Koop. Thought I saw you here. Hey, Dennis. Getting a little last minute shopping in? Nah, Dad does all our shopping online. He just comes here to gloat. Ha! Up your face! I finished shopping months ago! <laughs> hmm. Dad, can Dennis and I check out some stores? Sure, just don't go too far. Speed it up up there! Ho, ho, ho! And what's your name, little girl? Save it, Tubby. Let's cut to the chase. I want five Angora sweaters in raspberry garnet, buttercup wasabi, and twilight flush, which, as you know, is the new pink. <laughs> Santa will see what he can do. Ho, ho, ho! Smile for the camera! How's the ceasefire working? I ceased, cat fired. He doesn't get the whole Christmas spirit thing. Well, maybe they don't have Christmas where he's from. 
All Dad really wants is an old-fashioned family Christmas. <laughs> Hello? Mom, are you close? Well, uh, let's just say we're getting warm. See you soon. Get harder, dear. Doing my best, sweetie. We have to be gentle. We don't want to scare Santa's reindeer, or they might fly away. They're fast enough to fly all over the world in one night. Anywhere Santa wants to go. Hmm. <laughs> Santa's not making any promises. Score! I bet Dad would like this. The Superstar 3000 EQ Reflector Telescope? Who wouldn't? Yeah. Ho, 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 little girl. Ah! No pets allowed on Santa's knee. Ah! Go ahead, young lady. I'm not going to let Cat ruin Dad's Christmas. <laughs> Smile for the camera. Look out! So well, son. But, but... One more stunt like that and you can forget about getting a Captain Blastroid rocket for Christmas. Oh. Well, it looks like we won't be allowed back in the mall for a while. But on the plus side, we won't be allowed back in the mall for a while. Nothing says old-fashioned Christmas like Grandma's Christmas cookie recipe. The secret is to use lots of candy. <laughs> That's exactly what I used to tell your grandma. Sorry, Dad. Yeah, let's just make it the last incident before Christmas, okay? Use this instead, pal. We don't want any more accidents. Okay. Hello? <coughs> Mom! Uh, don't tell me. Your Sherpa got lost. Uh, an alligator ate your luggage. Oh, don't be silly, Burton. We just got a little blown off course. Pass the sunblock, sugar pie. Never fear. We'll be there for Christmas with jingle bells on our toes. Bye! But it's Christmas Eve. If they don't make it, we won't have a traditional Burton Burger Christmas. <gasps> Whoa, is this your family? <laughs> now I know where you get your bad looks from. <laughs> Just kidding. Hey, put that down. Okay, okay. Here's your thingamajiggy back. How about a truce, please? Just till after Christmas, so Dad can have his happy holiday. <laughs> have a heart! Wouldn't you like to have a nice Christmas with your family? <sighs> Millie, I told you... Get down from there! <laughs> I meant safely! <laughs> oh, I'm okay, Dad. Oh, good. Now I can switch to angry mode. Don't scare me like that! Shut your pie hole, you flea bag! <laughs> Millie, the only place you'll find your presents from Santa is under the tree. Tomorrow. We'll see about that. Ooh, that was close. <laughs> Dad's favorite hiding spot still works. Ah! <laughs> 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 
<laughs> My popcorn strings are gonna make the tree look so pretty. I think the tree would look even better with the Captain Blasteroid Boosterific Rocket Ripper under it. Ooh, subtle. I bet you one of those could make it to the moon. Or further. Whoa, no heights for you, pal. And nothing breakable. But, okay, Dad. Look, Daddy, it's snowing! It sure is, Sweet Pea. We're having a white Christmas. I hope Grandma and Grandpa get through. That's a lot of snow. I wonder who'll shovel the walkway. Hmm? This No, it's none of my business what he does to months and sleep. Ow! <laughs> what don't you get about Christmas? <laughs> you know, goodwill towards you. That's it. What good to cease fire with you anyway? Bring it on, you mutant elf. Oh, Captain Blasteroid Rocket, two, is that my Christmas one. present? This is the Captain. <laughs> oh, oh man. I should have paid a little extra for business class. Santa! 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 Uh oh. Grandpa do. Grandpa! Grandma! Oh, well, hello, sugar plums. You've grown so big since we last saw you. You, uh, you couldn't just take a cab? We were lost until we followed our very own Christmas star. Come on inside. We made cookies. With lots of candies. <sighs> Come on, Mr. Cat. Coming, Coop. In a minute, I've got one more present to wrap. <laughs> hey, present! Wow, it's a beaut! Thanks, son. I had something else for you, but I can't find it anywhere. That's okay, Dad. Christmas isn't always about presents. Well, your grandpa and I have something special for you, Coop. Thanks, Grandma and Grandpa. <gasps> I got the blaster on Moon Rocket! It really works, too. I know! <laughs> hey, Millie, I think there's another gift under there. Mr. Cat! Oh, it must be from Santa Claus! Santa gave you a picture of your family. That's what Christmas is all about. Families, even if they don't get along now and then. <laughs> Merry Christmas, Cat. I love you, Mr. Cat. <sighs> All of us together? Oh, this is the family Christmas I really wanted. Uh-oh. Coop! 